Breaking news. It seems that Earth has been invaded by beings from the outside. It has been reported that these beings have traveled from the various exoplanets that we have been observing for many years. It has also been reported that these beings have traveled thousands and thousands of light years from planets known as super Earths. How could we have not known that there are other habitable planets in the universe? How could we have not known that there were other beings living on the outside of Earth? Oh, what a day is today. Will these beings be from Krypton? Will we meet another Kalel to rule the Earth as Superman? Could these beings be from Gliese 876D? Or could they be from Gliese 581D? Could they be from Tau Ceti F? Or Carrot 7B? Or could they be from Kepler 62E? This is the Learning Academy. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today we'll be discussing habitable planets or super earths as we have now begun to call them exoplanet lhs 1140b is a massive dense rocky planet orbiting within the habitable zone of the red dwarf lh 1140 it was discovered in 2017 and it is seven times more larger than the earth I would certainly love to visit LHS 1140B. Journey with me to our nearest exoplanet, Super Earth Proxima Centauri B. Well, this is one of our most Earth-like planets and it is 4.2 light years away and it is located in the habitable zone of its star Proxima B or Alpha Centauri CB. It orbits the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to our Earth. Take a journey with me to the Kepler system, where we will discover and explore Kepler 452b. Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0, is also referred to as Earth's cousin. It is located in a system with a star that is very similar to our Sun. It is also 60% larger than our Earth. Kepler 62e. Journey with me to this rocky Earth like exoplanet also referred to as a super earth it is located in the habitable zone of its star and is referred to as very habitable it is believed to have water on its surface however it is 20 percent hotter than our earth journey with me to 1200 light years away to the system where we will find kepler 62f one of the best candidates for an Earth-like planet. It is a super Earth and it is also habitable. However, it has no atmosphere. And it is 1.4 times larger than our Earth. Kepler 22b is one of the smallest super Earth that has been discovered so far. It is believed to be in the habitable zone of a star, and its star is very similar to our sun. Kepler 22b is very small and is often referred to as a Kepler object of interest. It is an extrasolar planet orbiting the habitable zone of the star Kepler 22. Welcome to Tau Ceti E. It is a super earth exoplanet that orbits a G type star. It is 3.93 times the size of Earth 
and it takes 1.62.9 days to complete one orbit of its G star. Gliese 667c is an exoplanet orbiting the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Gliese 667c. It is a member of the Gliese 667 triple star system and it takes approximately 23.62 light years to venture to Gliese 667cc from the constellation Corpus. Gliese 581g, also known as Zarmina, is an unconfirmed exoplanet that orbits Gliese 581. It is believed to be 20 light years away from the Earth. This exoplanet was discovered in September 2010 and has an orbital period of 32 days. Gliese 581d is an extrasolar planet which orbits in the system Gliese 581. It is believed to be 20.4 light years away from the Libra constellation. Gliese 581d was discovered in April 2007 and has an orbital period of 67 days. Gliese 163c is believed to be a potentially habitable exoplanet. It orbits the habitable zone of its M dwarf star Gliese 163. This exoplanet was discovered in September 2012 and has an orbital period of 26 days. It is 7.2 times larger than the Earth. Journey with me into interstellar space, where there was an amazing astronomical discovery. HD 4307G is an exoplanet that orbits the habitable zone of HD 40307. It is believed to be located 42 light years away in the direction of the constellation Pictor. This exoplanet was discovered in October 2012 and has an orbital period of 198 days. And our journey throughout interstellar space and the universe has taken us back to our original destination, our beautiful planet Earth. Now Earth is the third planet from the sun and is the only astronomical object in the universe that we are sure that harbors life and not only life but intelligent life. We are not so fully aware or knowledgeable of the existence of intelligent life on other planets, but who knows what the future holds. The discovery of these multiple exoplanets or Earth-like planets that exist in the habitable zones of their stars has left us to wonder how many neighbors do we have out there? And what are our neighbors currently doing? Are they also looking at us in a similar way that we've spent many years, many decades and generations looking at them? And when will they arrive?